Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Let me get a bottle of water. I know that fridge is in here somewhere. No, no. This should be pretty easy. I don't know what's going on here. What's over here, over here. I mean, look, maybe he's got it down here. I, I don't see it. You know, this happens to me at home sometimes, and I, and I say, man, if it was any closer, it'd bite me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I just don't know where it is. But, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Here it is. Here's the fridge. Oh, my goodness. This reminds me of something. Our readings for today. You got to take a look at that reading, that gospel reading, that reading from John, John 9, where they heal the blind man. Jesus heals the blind man. And when he was healed, the blind man could then see. But it's interesting that the Pharisees who could see are the ones who could not even recognize Jesus as the Messiah standing right before him. They were the ones who were really blind. And then you look at that epistle lesson, the one from Ephesians 5, where it says to live as the children of light and have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness. Instead, live in the light, the light of Jesus, and, and do all that we can to show that we love him. And then there's that reading from Isaiah 42. Um, he is the light. Jesus is the light for the remnant. It's the folks who were continuing to follow the idols that were living in darkness, not recognizing that they needed to get rid of the idols and just worship the Lord. Jesus is, is here. He lives in our hearts by faith. We recognize him as the Messiah, and we want to do all that we can to bring that love to the people around us who just don't know Jesus. That's why we say hope starts here. Here at the foot of the cross with us, we take it into the lives of other people.